Prosecution and defense attorneys for two former APD officers are preparing to continue their fight over what can and cannot be said during the trial for two former APD officers. And while opening statements will not begin until Monday this week, both sides will be arguing their points. News 13's Sarah Yingling joins us now with a look at what we might see. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. One of the items both sides really focused on yesterday was a computer aided dispatch report from the officers who responded to the scene. A CAD report is a list that shows reasons why an officer is called to a scene. It includes a brief description of what those officers believe is happening once they arrive. Prosecutors argue that the defense wants to use portions that are unconfirmed and just hearsay. But the defense allows the prosecution believes the prosecution can't have it both ways, using portions of the CAD report for themselves. There are references in a CAD related to what the dispatch officer is saying, which we think has multiple levels of hearsay, we don't know those portions are coming in. The former APD officers Dominique Perez and Keith Sandy are charged with second degree murder in the shooting death of homeless camper James Boyd. They allegedly shot and killed Boyd in a long standoff in the foothills back in 2014. Both Perez and Sandy claim the shooting was in self-defense because Boyd had two knives. A jury was also selected this week. Those jurors could also find the former officers guilty of a lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter. Back to you. All right, thanks for that update, Sarah. That hearing will continue today where a judge is expected to rule on the remaining motions.